So this is what comes in the electronic uh, ignition and electronic advanced conversion for the points ignition type airheads. There's a bit more gear here but it has a, a specific purpose and it's really very very simple. It truly is plug and play. For years I've resisted, uh, strenuously resisted changing from points on my early series bikes because all of the systems from Boyer Branson to Alpha and all the rest of them that I've seen uh, they just don't impress me as being a worthwhile thing to do. Um, that doesn't mean I'm right, it just uh, means that that's my opinion of them and for what was involved I couldn't see the point in changing away from a reliable point system. This one is somewhat different though because it, it is simplicity itself uh, in, in a much more sophisticated way than the original points system. This is the points plate, it actually replaces the points plate that holds the points uh, on the system that I showed you earlier. Um, here is the Hall Effect trigger, that replaces the points. It's actually just an electronic air switch, just the same way as the points are, but it has no moving parts. And this thing here is the shutter, and you can see cut out of it are little slots. Now as that sits down into there, that wall goes between the two arms on the points. You can see there's a, two sides to that, and the cam... the uh, sorry, the shutter fits down in between those two points. Each time a gap goes past that uh, that hall trigger, the gap lines up with the two sides and makes them able to see each other, they fire the ignition. So it works exactly the same way as a set of points, it, it, it just works in, a, in an electronic way rather than a mechanical way, so there's no actual wearing parts in that. Now this is where the main difference comes, there's no condenser there, you can see that that uh, has a tail wire out of it just like the points and it goes into a plug. This, um, this uh, cord here and this here is what takes a care, care of your firing of the, the coils and also of the advance, which is the real reason that I've replaced this uh, system into my own bike. Um, this is the same kind of module, although uh, much newer and much more sophisticated with a much better heat sink than you'll find in all of the factory BMW units. Uh, it's a 26 degree advance unit and you can see that uh, actually written on the, on the module. And that's because BMW is at full advance run at 32 degrees and they have 6 degrees static at idle. So 6 and 6 are 2, 32, that's where you get that from. Now there are two brackets that come with this and on the early bikes these are, des are designed to go underneath the, uh, the mounting uh, stubs for the fuel tank. So you undo the bolts underneath the frame and you simply screw those up and then screw this module onto it. The next part is the cable. This end goes on the module, just like in, in your own modern airhead, if you happen to have one of those as well. These three wires here, a brown, a green and a black, they go onto the coils. So the brown ones are earth, there are heaps of brown wires earthing all over the bike. The right hand side coil in a factory uh, slash six has the black wire on it, and uh, the coils actually have twin spades on each terminal there. So all you do is simply plug the black wire onto the terminal where the black wire is, piggyback it on, and the same on the other side, there's a green wire with a grey trace on my bike, I think there's a black trace on some, and that goes onto that terminal. So there are your three wires that, um, that fire your coils, and this bit here, that's just the same as the plug uh, on an airhead, um, which has electronic ignition from the factory. This is a, a modernised plug, so instead of having to stuff around with the wires and things, you simply push that down to release the plug from the, um, from the, the male one. And I routed that down through the breather on the, on the top of the starter motor cover, just took one bar out of it and put that down through the starter motor cover. I did have to take the starter motor out to get that plug around in front of the starter motor, then put it back, and then that simply plugs into this tail here, and your system is good to go. It's as simple as that. This Hall Effect trigger that's on here, uh, I've been told that they are made by Honeywell. I'm not going to argue with anyone who says otherwise, but you can buy them from JCAR for under $20. Um, they're a simple three-wire setup. Um, they're the same unit and interchangeable with the unit that BMW use in their factory cans. And uh, it is as easy to change one of those as it is to change a set of points with the exception that you have to just join the three wires onto the harness to make it work. 
So that's what it all looks like in the box and that's how it works. Now I'm going to uh, show you how it is fitted into my own bike.